Welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we found the last of Tassel Trown Trowns, yes, Tassel Town's hidden treasures, the final sunken soul. Which means I can return to Scuttle Town and uh, give them to the Hypno Baron so that I finally don't have any damned spirits in my uh, inventory anymore. Sunken Soul. Evil spirits banished to the darkest depths. Oh no, he was in here. Alright, you fuck. Take these and get out of town. Ha 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 ha! Sunken souls lay them at my feet. You gave Sunken Soul. See how they quiver and wriggle in fear of their master! You have done well. I will give you a gift. You got Risky's Ribbon! That object is an ornament of pure hatred. Thanks, Hypno Baron. Good luck building your fear, Empire. Ha ha ha! I like that that's his line. Yes, I knew that. Ah, finally free. Risky Boots dropped it! Better show Uncle! Weird how it knew when I was crouching that I didn't want to talk to Techno Baron. Huh, you really can see the stitch change uh, from one leg to the other. When she turns around, I mean. Find any clues? I found Risky's ribbon. Let's have a look at that. Hmm. It smells of sulfur. What she's building uses great heat as a power source. I'll keep studying it. Good work. Rubber hoses and great heat. I knew that. What happens if I do talk to that guy again? I also have one key, now that I think about it. I want more Squid Baron fan art! Alright, let's take a look. Ooh, that's pretty good, I like that. I think I would have put more variety on the evil side. Like, you know, they've got all these guys over on the right. I would have put, you know, uh, all the barons on the left side. What the heck is that that uh, Uncle's got with him? Naturally. Wait, is that Dope Fish? Dope Fish lives. But uh, don't take him out of the water like that, it's cruel. I mean, a proper Dope Fish is like seven feet tall, but, you know. Oh, that's neat. I like that a lot. I wonder if they added this after the fact, because I am pretty sure that spider form was not in Risky's Revenge. I think it was elephant, monkey, and mermaid, and that might have been it. Oh, I actually know this artist, huh? Well, not personally, I just know of this artist, and I'm surprised to discover that that's the thing. Oh, that's right, there were those golden towers. Towers? Fountains. Why did I say towers? It's not even that tall. Risky Boots in the, uh, Princess Leia bikini from the previous game. That was a really funny sequence, I gotta say. Clash of the Shantae's. I'm sorry? I'm not sure which character here makes less sense. Shantae suddenly being a robot, or the mermaid wearing a lion hat and paws? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know that I would call this Shantae fan art, but it's very nicely done. 
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That would also make a pretty good art style for a Shantae game. All kinds of glowy goodness. <laughs> I like that. I also like that, uh, Roddy Tops' comb is a dead fish. That would be an interesting storyline for a game. Oh, that would be funny if they did that for Friends at the End. If the storyline was that, uh, Risky Boots, uh, chopped off Shantae's hair and they, her friends need to go find her a potion to make it grow back so that she's not helpless without her whip. Yeah, people really liked the uh, pirate outfit. I was uh, not the only person who was disappointed when we didn't actually get to wear that in Pirate's Curse. <laughs> what? It's the face of someone eating her favorite food, I guess. Oh, nice. There is an enthusiasm to all of these that I enjoy. I don't know you. Oh, I think you might be the uh, the same one from that art I thought was Shantae as a vampire. I don't know you. Are you a character that I don't remember? Or are you just a character that I haven't seen because you were only in the first one? Although, if so, it'd be kind of weird to get fan art now. I don't know, the game came out in 2002, is all I'm saying. Shooting buzzsaws. I don't remember. Th oh, it's, uh... She's not getting buzzsaws shot at her. That's, uh, triple pike ball. Nice. <laughs> Kicking the boss angry. I like that. Shantae's island out the window. When I was talking about earlier. Hell yeah! Where is the last key? I think I saw it on the map. Alright, enough of that. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I'll do it right here, right now. It didn't work. Okay, now what? Oh, you're right, you can't talk to people like this. Let me see, where are we going? Okay, got everything, did not get everything. Missing an entire category. And a heart thing. Check. No, that means I have to go back. And I, st I know I have to go back here for the uh, poster thing. But let's go to Main Street first. I don't know, I've never been there with a harpy. I was really surprised how uh, they didn't let me just use the harpy form, but I guess it wouldn't be moving fast enough for the, uh, for the, uh, the carpet race, huh? Can I just... I really can. Okay. Cool. No, 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 no. No way to find anything. Ah! Uh, oh, I did I not? Did I actually take damage because of that guy, or because I touched the water as a bird? No, it was that guy. He also didn't do any damage because they don't actually cause any damage. Fine, I'll be the crab. I see.
I will admit it, if the entire game takes place on the same day, the whole thing of the town still being on fire is very, very slightly uh, more understandable. Still, I'm kind of disappointed this game doesn't seem to be reaching the heights of the ridiculousness of the previous games. Most notably the part where you find yourself in the Kingdom of the Dead, talking to the who uh, someone who is very strongly implied to be the person whose dead body turned into Roddy Tops. Anything over in this direction? I was not expecting the answer to be yes, but okay, sure! You got Waterfall Relic! Hell yes! That's dances, okay. That's why it's a... Uh... While assuming a water-based form, press up while standing in a waterfall. Interesting. Whoa. Yeah, half genie. Uh, magic, I guess. You know, to explain why she didn't immediately die upon falling, like, 70 feet. Ow. Ow. Been there enough times to know exactly. Well, I don't actually know where it goes. I'll be, I was lying, but, um... I do know I've been there. I know that for a fact, so I'm choosing not to look. And the boss fight area. Okay. Well, I found one thing, and it's going to be very useful. I just need to figure out how to put it to use. Yes, please, since I found that item. All right, uh, let's see. I want to give another shot to going to the castle and talking to uh, everyone's friend, Abner. Okay, okay, one more thing to find. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, okay. Need to go there for sure in order to use the waterfall thing. Ugh. Down you go. Oh, no, no, that's not uh, one of them. I dare you. There you go. See? Isn't it better when we all tell the truth? booster the other day and my arm is still a bit sore. I'm just running at random. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys because I just have... N I mean, I make jokes about my sense of direction, but I'm just absolutely lost here. Like, every joke I've ever made about my sense of direction and apply it literally to this place, because, uh, I don't think I would find it easy to get around here with a map.
Nuts to you! I'm down here now for some reason. What heresy is this? That someone adjusted the height of the, uh... of the bat form. I think this is where the uh, actual door to the next area was, so I don't want to go here. No. Ah, yes, good. I think. I think. No. Let go, you shit. Piss drink. I just wanted to go. Mm. No, you know what? I am not right now wanting to deal with you. Aha! Abner! Just the dude I was looking for. I knew if I threw myself in enough doors, eventually I would find you. Hey, you've got one. Let me see that. You gave Velvet Poster. This ain't at all what I expected. It's way better. Yeah, I'm digging this. Here. You got Squid Poster. Arg? Poe picked up that sorry-looking squid poster at a nerd con. No backsies. Stay classy, Abner. It's much more lively in here for a zombies pad. I think I got all the things here, so I guess I should just go, huh? Squid poster. Someone carefully rendered a colorful portrait of Squid Baron on a large sheet of paper. Okay, never having to go back there again. That's a reward. Now well, the Squid Baron poster isn't as cheery as the one with the pretty girl on it, the one who looked extremely healthy, but, um, <clears throat> maybe he'll disagree. And naturally, I have to run all the way to the right. <clears throat> Very phlegmy all of a sudden. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh. Try not to think about how awkward it is that this guy is just watching everyone bathe. Hello, Squid Baron. Keep the Squid Baron fan art coming! Hey, that Squid poster you have looks epic! Give me that. Okay. You gave Squid poster. Oh yes, I've got to have this laminated. Here, something for you in return. You got Risky's Buckle! Looks like it broke off a size 7 fashionable leather boot that smelled great. I thought that, uh, comment was a little suspicious, but, uh... See you around like a donut. Off I go. I was wondering where the fourth hint was going to come in, since, you know, I thought it was going to get it... I thought I was going to get a clue from Abner, actually. You know, because Squid Baron provided me with a poster. I thought that was... that was a, What? Ah! I thought that's what that was about. If I could speak, I would be fine. Oh, wait, I didn't read it yet. Uh, Risky's buckle, Risky Boots dropped it, better show Uncle. Find any clues? I think this is Risky's Buckle. Let's have a look at that. Hmm. It appears to be caked in ash from a metal forge. I'll keep studying it. Good work. I 
I'm kind of disappointed that Bolo hasn't really had a role in this game, other than getting himself in trouble at the factory. I mean, I didn't expect him to be helpful or anything, it's just, uh, entertaining. How are my items looking? They are fine. I am full of foods. Now that I have so many hearts, I don't need to heal constantly. Yeesh. Away! Oh, but the timer has gone. Well, let me see. I need something from Main Street. Uh, a heart and something from Mermaid Falls. And a heart, a key, and something from Cape Crustacean. How could there be anything hidden there? Jeez! Well, I guess we're gonna find out next time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero, when we look around Mermaid Falls again and try out the waterfall relic. Later!